I don't care who it was that that killed him. I, it, it's one less terrorist that we have to worry about. That was Darren Hoover, the father of one of the 13 American service members who were killed by a suicide bomber during the chaotic evacuation of Afghanistan in 2021. Overnight, the Department of Defense confirmed that the ISIS leader behind that suicide bombing at Kabul's airport is now dead. The attack not only killed 13 U.S. service members, but it also took the lives of 170 Afghans during the chaotic withdrawal from that country in what is considered one of the darkest moments of President Biden's presidency. Jared Hill has the latest on this developing story. Almost two years since the deadly blast that killed 13 American troops at Kabul's International Airport, the U.S. has confirmed that the ISIS mastermind behind the attack was killed by the Taliban. U.S. Marine Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover was one of the 13. His father, Darren Hoover, says he was told yesterday of the ISIS leader's death. Nothing's going to bring Taylor back, and, and, you know, we understand that. We get that. He set his legacy and nothing's going to take that away. The U.S. is not releasing the name of the mastermind and Pentagon officials say the U.S. was not involved in the Taliban operation that took him out. I don't care who it was that, that killed him. I, it, it's one less terrorist that we have to worry about. The August 2021 suicide bombing happened near Abbey Gate during the final chaotic days of the U.S. drawdown from Afghanistan. More than 100 Afghan civilians were also killed. Marine Corps Sergeant Tyler Vargas Andrews survived. I'm throwing 12 feet onto the ground. I opened my eyes to Marines dead or unconscious lying around me. U.S. officials learned of the ISIS leader's death weeks ago, although not from the Taliban. Instead, officials made the determination from their own intelligence gathering. Jared Hill, CBS News.